the fact that the, uh, the interstitial fluid in the dermis is better for CGM than going deeper uh, with, uh, into the subcutaneous tissue. The dermis has higher circulation, has more glucose values, more glucose molecules, and, uh, and monitoring there, you'll have a smaller lag time. So it's actually better for it. Um, we also have uh, a, a large number of needles, so it's not just one, and they all will make contact with the, with the interstitial fluid. If one of them happens to hit a piece of scar tissue or a, a hair follicle or something, then the other, other needles will be able to still sense the glucose. Um, the watch um, is attached with magnets to the, to the, the sensor, and, uh, and there's a silicon, very gentle adhesive that is used to hold the sensor against the skin. For holding it on the skin, you have the gentle adhesive, you have the needles, which are penetrating, and then you have the, the watch, the watch strap itself, which holds it in place. So there's three elements that help, to help the sensor to stay in place. The patch will last a week. After that week, you, you, you take it off and you throw it away, and you put another one in. You can... Uh... 